Tonight on Evening, Dakota Johnson's in the hot seat. We take your questions to the star of Fifty Shades Darker. What is your favorite TV show or movie that was also set in Seattle? A celebrity spin on the Wednesday weigh-in. Is there a set of rules or a code that you try to live your own life by? Keanu Reeves and you answer this week's question. Plus, an all-new Where the Chef Seat. It's light, it's clean, um, it's sexy. Hit the town with Seattle's rising culinary star, Eduardo Jordan. Oh, this is so good. And I'm Kim Holcomb at U Village, where Trophy Cupcakes has created the craziest birthday treat you have ever seen. It's all part of a big month-long celebration that we'll tell you about in a sec. But first, our fine city is the setting for Fifty Shades Darker. The movie comes out this Friday, and even if you don't plan on seeing it, chances are that someone you know is planning on seeing it, which is why we decided to let the fans ask the stars questions this time. Tonight, it's Dakota Johnson. You got me looking so crazy. The fans of these films are like fans. Yeah. Do you feel that way about anything in your own life? No, I've never been I've never been like a like a screaming fanatic about anything. Even when I went to a Spice Girls concert when I was like nine. You didn't scream? I'm more of the silent freak out kind of person. Uh -huh. It doesn't really like burst out and sound out of my face, but. It's just smoldering somewhere inside of you. Yes. Yes, okay, I do have some fan questions. This is Elise from Seattle. Fifty Shades Darker is set in Seattle. So what I wanna know is, what is your favorite TV show or movie that was also set in Seattle? Yes, Sleepless in Seattle. Um, what else was set in Seattle? Say anything. Grey's Anatomy. Say anything. Frasier. Do you like oh my god. Does that take you back? Oh. Little John Cusack. I'm gonna watch that tonight. In your eyes, the light, the heat. That movie. It's so good. It's so good. Why don't, the, why don't dudes act like that anymore? Okay, Brittany would like to know. I was wondering if you guys ever pulled any pranks on each other on set. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> but it was mostly just me to Jamie. He likes his tea a certain way, and I, he asked for a tea, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna go to Crafty, I'll make it for you. So I went to Crafty and I made his tea, and then I was just like, put some hot sauce in it, put some chips in it, some carrots, whatever was on the table. That's disgusting. Yeah, it, it was pretty <laughs> awful of me. <laughs> I filled the first AD trailer with fake cockroaches. <laughs> I'm terrible. A little bit. I'm Diabolical, truly the worst. But with a sense of humor, so there's that. It was all done with love. Yes. This is from Carolina. After Fifty Shades, have you ever think about making another film together? I would love to, I mean, I love Jamie so much, I would love to work with him again. And I, and it would be cool to work together under different circumstances because on set, but out of scenes, have, just like the stupidest rapport. So So maybe a comedy. Maybe a comedy. I like it. We shall see. Uh oh, uh oh, oh no no. We shall see. Tomorrow night we're gonna talk to the author behind all of those Fifty Shades books. She never even visited Seattle before she wrote them. If she had, she might have included Chef Eduardo Jordan in her stories because he spent years working the line at some of Seattle's best restaurants. Now he runs his own, but he took some time away from work to show us his favorite places to go out to eat. Here's Jim with tonight's Where the Chefs Eat. He works more hours in one week than some people do in two. 14 hour days, 16 hour days, six days a week. What's that, 70, 80 hours a week? Those long hours have helped make chef Eduardo Jordan a rising star in Seattle's food scene. His first restaurant, Solare, has been a big hit ever since it opened. Nationally, Food & Wine magazine named him one of the best new chefs in the country. But despite all the demands that come with success, Chef Jordan still makes time to go out to eat. Most of the time I like simple food. I, I mean, I'm a kind of meat and potatoes kind of guy. I can eat a burger three, four times a week. Um, but there's times where I just want to splurge too. One of his splurge-worthy places is a few steps away from his own restaurant. We're at home base right now. This is Solari, and this is what's right next door to me. 
This is one of my favorite sushi restaurants in this city. Chef, I'm leaving it in your hands as I always do. You have brilliant chefs like this bringing in the most beautiful and freshest seafood around you. You, you then understand why this is such a magical food. Oh yeah, that's good smoke. It's light, it's clean, um, it's sexy. Uh, you won't go home feeling extremely heavy, but you feel satisfied. Down the road, about a mile, you'll find a place Eduardo considers a second office. We're here at Tornado, one of my favorite beer spots in the city. With 40 rotating taps, Tornado is a beer lover's paradise. But it's the food that keeps him coming back. I came here for the beer, but I stayed for the burger. Woohoo! Yes, sir. I walked by one day, they had a little smoker going. I knew that this was a winner. Glazed carrots, baked beans, everything made in house, even the bacon. I mean, look at this. Good beer, good food, good people. Can't go wrong. The last stop of the night goes to Greenwood and Chef Eric Donnelly's restaurant, Flint Creek Cattle Company. Eric is doing a really good job. Eric. Chef, what's going on, buddy? How you doing, buddy? Yeah. He's known for his seafood, but now he's doing an excellent job with his meat. Flint Creek serves premium meats sourced from well-managed, small-scale farms. So many choices, man. It's such a beautiful place, so beautiful of a menu that it's just hard to pick. Can't go wrong when you get a ribeye. With the ribeye, it's just like that fat cap and that fat content that's actually trapped in that steak that it actually brings out more of that beefy happiness that everyone normally enjoys. He may put in long hours at work, but Chef Eduardo Jordan will always take a time out for something tasty. Oh, this is so good. Thank you, Jimmy. By the way, Eduardo is just about to open his second restaurant. It's called June Baby, and it'll be open in the next couple of months. And if you missed any of those restaurants in our story, just go to our website. You will find a link to all of them there, along with a full master list of all of the restaurants from our Where the Chefs Eat series. Well, after dinner, you need some dessert, right? And there is no better time than now to come to Trophy because they are celebrating 10 years in business with a crazy mega cupcake that has enough stuff on it to feed an entire party. A third birthday only comes around once and Trophy Cupcakes had just what Claudia wanted. Is this pretty special? Yeah. The local bakery has specialized in making sweet wishes come true ever since Jennifer Shea opened her doors a decade ago. I had a dream and opened a little shop in Wallingford and now it's 10 years and I just kind of can't believe it. From appearing on Martha Stewart's show to expanding to four locations, Trophy is now synonymous with celebration. So for their own 10th birthday, they decided to go big. I wanted it to really make people uh, just go wow. This is the limited edition birthday mega cupcake. It is an architectural marvel. So the cake is funfetti, and then we frost it with our Madagascar vanilla buttercream. Candy in all kinds of trophy colors. There's donut holes that are drizzled with white chocolate and edible gold stars. There's one of our birthday cake macarons. So there's a wafer cookie dipped in edible gold glitter. A rainbow striped meringue. There's circus cookies. Oh, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> It gets crazier. Once a week, they're also including a golden ticket in a box worth $1,000 in trophy treats. A thank you to loyal customers for 10 years in the celebration business. And it's for a birthday and a celebration, so I hold back. <laughs> Bye, happy, happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. I mean, seriously, look, these are as big as my face. And you have the entire month of February to come grab one of these mega cupcakes and possibly win one of those golden tickets. Trophy is here in U Village at Pacific Place in Wallingford and at the Bravern in Bellevue. Next on Evening. So these are our Matrix chairs. The geekiest office in Seattle and Life Coats with Keanu Reeves. I yeah. try to be, you know, kind and all of those good things. Kim Holcomb's got the stars of John so Wick 2. The former head doctor at Hanford was pressured, cajoled, threatened to put his ethics by the wayside and send sick workers back out into harm's way. Basically, they said, um, you need to do this. They lied to us. 
flat out lied to us. Why would Department of Energy officials be pressuring a medical doctor? I'll tell you why. They want the work done. The King 5 Investigators. Take a look at the style and the great looks. This is the next generation Chevy Volt here at Lee Johnson Chevrolet. Stunning design, incredible efficiency. Drive it home today without a dime out of your pocket. Zero down is just $2.59 a month for 36 months. So let the LJ professionals show you how it works and how it drives. We're just off I-405, exit 18 in Kirkland. Lee Johnson Auto Family, the LJ way. Now for everyone looking for a hot new restaurant, Lucky Eagle Casino introduces the Fire Kitchen Buffet. Complete with mouth-watering seafood and carving stations, Mexican dishes, awesome desserts, and so much more. All surrounding an amazing indoor fire pit featuring our signature altar-smoked salmon. So get fired up to play. Discover the new Fire Kitchen Buffet at Lucky Eagle Casino and Hotel, where you belong. You've heard a lot about Everest healthcare programs, but you probably haven't heard this. We're now not for profit, which means we're driven by a different set of numbers. We're driven by the number of students turning part-time jobs into full-time success, the number of patients prepared, helped, and cared for, the number of lives improved, including their own, and the number of places they can go from here. At Everest, our priority is making sure our graduates leave with the skills and competence they need to succeed in the healthcare field. Begin your future at everest.edu. Welcome back to the show. We're at U Village tonight where they have great stores and excellent awnings to keep you dry from the rain. Well, we know that the tech industry is super competitive here and companies are trying to bring talent in by offering them things like cars. In fact, Axon is offering new recruits Tesla Model 3s. But one of the biggest perks about working at Axon is actually the office space itself. Saint takes us inside. Sorry, we cannot confirm your identity. Pretty sure I'm on TV. Sorry, we cannot confirm your identity. So how did Axon win geekiest office space? Sure, hold on a second here. Well, this is how CEO Rick Smith strolls through the hallway when he's at an off-site business meeting. See, the fun part is to creep up on people when they don't know you're there. They're <laughs> GM Marcus Womack is actually here in person. What is this? So these are our matrix chairs, and they're little touchdown stations that people can use if they need a little break from uh, computing at their desk during the day. Yeah, it's super comfortable. The kitchen is full of free stuff. Those look like beer taps to me. That's correct, they are. This is from Stoop Brewing. This is their mosaic pail. That's really good. Do you have any openings? We have... Uh, 35 open positions. So do you know how to code? Can you write code? Yes. <laughs> Make that no. But programmers who can write code are in high demand in Seattle and companies like Axon. And we create body cameras and make technology for law enforcement. Are competing by offering more than just great pay. Hey, where you work matters because you spend a lot of time here. Maybe not that much time. So we have a unlimited vacation policy, and you get to uh, you get to define uh, when you take vacation. Oh, thank you, Saint. That place is just awesome. Well, if you love big action movies, this is a big weekend for you because John Wick Chapter 2 comes out in theaters. The movie stars Keanu Reeves, and it's about an underground ring of assassins who all live by a strict code. I talked to the cast about the code that they try to live by in real life. Is there a set of rules or a code that you try to live your own life by? Um, no. I, I don't have the, like, you know, here it is. I have the basic stuff, you know? Try not to be, try not to lie, yeah. try to be you know, kind and all of those good things. And I, you know, I'm, I'm okay at it, but I'm not great. We've heard some stories that sound like you're pretty okay at no, the kindness anyway, part. You know, <laughs> yeah. I guess my code is, is seeing God in all of us and respecting, just respect individuals, you know, like respecting myself and, and others. And, um, and I like honesty too. That's some, a code that I really, you know, Myself, I try to work on too, yeah. is just being honest. 
Do you have a sort of basic set of rules or principles that you have tried to live your life by? Yeah, yeah, that, you know, as long as you know what the rules are, you can break them. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like you have always known what the rules are? No. <laughs> you know, mine is very much like keeping to the code of, of being tolerant of all different people and loving of all different people and uh, and self-love, self-preservation yeah. and love and being kind. And I think that's like a non-negotiable. You can't just do that on, on a Monday and then on a Tuesday not do that. It's right. that you need to keep that consistent and the rest of the world and everyone around you uh, is better for it and then you're better for it. Very well said. John Wick 2 is rated R and it opens on Friday. And we wanted to know if you guys have a, a code or a set of rules that you try to live by. So that is this week's Wednesday weigh-in question. You actually sent us some great responses. Here's Team Evening from the Columbia Center. This is a tough one, actually. Yeah. I, because I have so many codes and so many sets of rules that I live by. I'm an exemplary human being. I can't help it. We but I would say, say the simpler, the better. So I would say bring joy to yourself, to the people around you. That's a good one. Bring joy. That's a good one. Thank you. That is good. Yeah, I think uh, the one that I have lived most of my life by is also what has gotten me in trouble the most, probably. But I say stand up and speak out for what oh, you believe uh, in and on have... behalf of people who maybe can't for themselves. Nice. Um, my life code is to constantly remind myself that everybody is going through something that is a big deal to them. So it's true. even if they come across as rude or uh, mean, it's probably something else that's happening in their lives and uh, don't take it at face value. That's, that's, a, that's a really good, yes, which I think promotes kindness too. So be sure. kind, that could be distilled to just be kind. No, oh, I'm sorry, we're not so long. <laughs> Kim? <laughs> we asked you guys about what code you try to live by. You had some really great answers. Here's what you told us on Facebook. Genius has its limits, but stupidity is infinite. You should know. <laughs> that's that's Gail's go-to. <laughs> Jennifer has a few life mottos, a few of them. She says, make every day count and always listen to stories from your elders. It's a great way to learn. I that, agree. That Point. is so true. Carrie's code is, I may not be perfect, but I'm perfectly me. Right. I love that. And Eileen remembers daily that kindness matters. Yes, it does. Kimberly lives by these words, hope for the best, but prepare prepare for the worst. Mm -hmm. And the classic golden rule, treat others the way you want to be treated. That's Nancy's life code. That should be your life code, Saint. There is still time for you to weigh in. Just head over to our Facebook page and look for the post. We would love to hear what you have to say. Coming up, the Seattle band that could take home a Grammy. And let evening whisk you away to Hawaii with the sounds and moves of Polynesia. Anyone that's looking for a luxurious lifestyle, this is the perfect home for them. What 6.3 million buys you and Clyde Hill, and the real life woman behind Christian Grey. Evening, tomorrow at 7.30 on King 5. Let's go, come on! It's time for new beginnings. Thank you. New adventures. New inspiration. So beautiful. It's time for life in the all-wheel drive 2017 Toyota RAV4 with Toyota Safety Sense Standard. Lease this new RAV4 LE all-wheel drive for just $199 a month. See your local Toyota dealer or visit buyatoyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. People just can't get enough of me and my discounts. So this year, they're getting a whole lot more. Fox 365, the calendar. Everyone knows my paperless, safe driver, and multi-card discounts, but they're about to see a whole new side of me. Heck, I can get you over $600 in savings. Chop, chop. Do I look like I've been hurt before? Because I've been hurt before. Um, actually, your session is, uh... Hang on. I call this next look Junior Year Abroad. Murphy's Law says when life gives you ingredients for chaos, chaos will happen. Papa Murphy's Law says when you have ingredients like scratch-made dough and cheese that's grated from a block, not poured from a bag, peace will reign at dinner time. Murphy's Law of Destruction. Papa Murphy's Law of Delicious. Tonight, home bake a large Papa's all-meat pizza, just $9. Now with more meat. Papa Murphy's. Did you know 90% of couples disagree on mattress firmness? Fortunately, there's a bed where you both get what you want every night. 
Enter Sleep Number in the ultimate Sleep Number event going on now. Sleep IQ technology tells you how well you slept and what adjustments you can make. She likes the bed soft. He's more hardcore. So your sleep goes from good to great to wow. Only at a Sleep Number store. And right now, save 50% on the ultimate limited edition bed. Go to sleepnumber.com for a store near you. I used to think news is news, but it's not. There's a big difference between local broadcast news and the rest. See, local stations connect my community on every device, with no bias like on cable shout shows and social media. For news I can trust, I stay local. Welcome back to Evening from You Village on this rainy, cold, blurg day. It may have you thinking about warm sunshine and a tropical vacation. And to help inspire that fantasy, here is Michael and his daughters with a story from Hawaii. Shirtless Polynesian men, festooned in flowers, dancing around in grass skirts. Ladies, what more could you ask for? Uh, the Pu'ili probably traveled around with the people of Polynesia for thousands of years. These ancient instruments of the islands are called Pu'ili sticks. So hold them out in front of you like this. All right, we'll go right, left, right, left. Right, oh, I was off beat. Much like hula dancing, the Pu'ili tell a story. Now, one of the things you'll find with the rattling is that it can be used to signify the wind, the makani above us as well. These rhythm sticks are solid at one end and split at the other to make that windy sound. You ready to add some, uh, some foot action? All right, we're gonna go to the right. Now, right. Now we're gonna go left. Looking good? Easy enough for elementary school kids. It's good, it's good. But more intricate moves can be added. You can see them in action at Disney's Aulani Resort at the Starlet Hui Show. Or if you're lucky, ladies, maybe these two Hawaiian hunks might just show up poolside. Thank you, Michael. Your girls are so cute, but we are all insanely jealous. A scoop or two of ice cream. From school teachers to Grammy nominees, the Northwest Trio who could take home an award this weekend. Anyone that's looking for a luxurious lifestyle this is the perfect home for them. What 6.3 million buys you and Clyde Hill. And the real life woman behind Christian Gray. Evening, tomorrow at 7.30 on King 5. Perfect for Valentine's. The Jewelry Exchange has two carat heart of the sea pendants, 69. Dancing rubies, 79. Three stone diamond rings, 99. Pearl strands or diamond studs, 49. Thousands of gifts guaranteed to appraise for double. The Jewelry Exchange Renton. Carissa Thompson here for Lee Johnson Kia. Check out this Kia Soul EV. It's fun to drive, affordable, and economical. And look how easy it is to get into. It is so roomy, and that's a feature that's really hard to find on a car this economical. Lee Johnson has done it again, pricing the Kia Soul EV at just $99 a month for 39 months. We're just off I-405, exit 18 in Kirkland, or at LeeJohnson.com. Lee Johnson Auto Family, the LJ Way. If your home is in the lane, on the bench, or on the range, there's only one place to go. Come to Cabela's all week for great deals and more. Get 30% off Cabela's Dakota cases. Plus, get up to $300 off select scopes from top brands. And take up to $300 off a great selection of Cabela's safes. Join us this weekend for free events, demos, and seminars, because responsible ownership starts at Cabela's. Stop in and save all week long at Cabela's, and remember to own responsibly. We're gonna decorate this room using only a gorgeous selection of Lazy Boy furniture. But let's just skip to the end. Oh, and did I tell you, Lazy Boy has designers who will come to your house. For free. We can pause it now. I'm good. Now, during the President's Day sale, hurry in for special financing. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Live life comfortably. When a truck hit me, I had no idea my case was worth a million dollars, but Kirk Bernard did. What's your case really worth? Call me, Kirk Bernard, now and find out for free. Bernard Law, 1-800-690-1000. Don't miss the Seattle RV Show, February 9th through 12th at CenturyLink Field Event Center. In one year, they step into the spotlight. The Winter Olympics on NBC. 
there's tons of apps out there that are pretty much will solve any math equation. I haven't sat in class and haven't seen a time where people wasn't cheating. They really don't have control over the students no more. What the children shared was, I was in shock. Welcome back to Evening. Well, the Grammys air this Sunday, and even though Adele and Beyonce are going to be battling it out for basically everything, we are going to be paying special attention to Best Children's Album because one of the nominees is Seattle-based Recess Monkey for their album Novelties. Saint introduces us to the band. Take your feet to work today. They just might be the hardest working kids band in America, and now one of the most popular. Oh, Recess Monkey, made up of three super talented Seattle area teachers, play more than 100 shows a year all across the U.S. We were very lucky too, but every opportunity that we've had, we've just gone for it. You know, if, if there's a show that can be played, we'll play it. Find one thing to put away and line up, please! Back when we first met the band in 2010, they were all part-time rockers full-time teachers. Why is oi o y in this word? But some big changes have happened since. Batteries. A new drummer, Corin Bischoff, and a new gig for bassist Jack Foreman. We're at the Monkey House! Well, top of the monkey to you, everyone. How's it going? It's me, Jack, live from the Monkey House. Happy Hosting a daily call-in show from his home on Sirius XM's Kids Place Live. Yeah, Carly, do you spend a lot of time in water balloon fights? It's a really cool way to connect with kids on a more universal level, I guess. It's also a cool way to give Recess Monkey more exposure. That is, audience, please put your hands together for our special guest in the studio. It's none other than my band, the band that I'm a member of. It's Recess Monkey! Hello! Jack has made promoting Recess Monkey pretty hey, much a full-time job. I had that sense when taking this job, sort of being our full-time band manager, that my plate would be full, but my cup truly runneth over with things to do. Not just social media lining up gigs and ordering t-shirts, but also producing the band's music video. <laughs> But of course, this success story all comes back to the music. There's no honor like writing the song that families sing uh, when they go to bed every night. That's, that's a huge honor, and uh, I think any band in America would kill for that chance. Thank you very much, audience! Thank you, Saint, and best of luck to Recess Monkey. Again, the Grammys air on Sunday. Well, that's all the time that we have tonight, but coming up tomorrow, we're going to take you on the tour of a local house that'll make you feel like you're on a Mediterranean vacation. Blind Spot is coming up next. Thank you for joining us, and good night from U Village.